view of mechanic industries visualize. What is up, you beautiful people? My name is Tyrell Lunsford, and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. If you're new here, then definitely consider subscribing and take a look on the channel and past reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at Visualize. It's a cool gaff deck, and there's a lot of things you can do with this. It's not just one trick that you do with this gaff deck. There's so many different things you can do with it, and I'm really excited to bring it to you today. I'd like to thank you for spending some of your time with me today, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. One more thing before this review gets started, I do want to say that you can save $100 on the Pain Game by John Allen by going to Mystique Factory's website and checking out their daily deals. They also have some other daily deals going down right now as this video goes live. That's not just the Pain Game, they have other deals going on, which are pretty good. So if you want to go check those out, definitely do that as well. And you can even save some money on your entire order when you place your first order with Mystique Factory and use code TYLER10 at checkout. That's right, you're going to save 10% off of your entire order and I'm not profiting or anything off that discount code. I'm not getting the 10% or anything. This really is just me trying to save you guys some money and me being able to put out some more reviews in the process. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this, but definitely go check that out. The links are in the, in the description below and let's get into review right now. Let's start out by talking about what actually is the Visualize Gaff Deck by Mechanic Industries. Well, this is a cool new gaff deck that uses the Optrix Red back design. Now, what you're gonna be able to do with this deck is a bunch of different things. It's not just a gaff deck that's used for one trick. It's used for several different tricks. With this deck, you can have cards appear. You can have cards vanish. You can have cards go from one place to another. You can have cards twist. You can have cards split into smaller cards. There's just so many different things you can do with this deck, and I do like all the possibilities that it allows your mind to think of. Now let's talk about what you're going to be receiving if you decide to purchase the Visualize Gaff System. We're going to be receiving this deck right here, and inside of it is a full gaff deck that allows you to do all the different effects that you see in the demo. 17 different tricks is what you're going to be getting with this, basically. Visual things that you can do in person. Some of them, not so much in person. I'll get into that a little bit later. But the box itself is even gaffed. You can do like a little x-ray routine like this, where you can see through the, the deck itself. The only problem with this is it does say Visualize on the front. It says gaff system so if you're gonna be using the box don't let your audience see the front or they're gonna be like hey what's a gas system and you're like well let me explain it to you so just be careful about that another thing is the tutorial video that you're gonna be receiving along with this is streamable it's online it's about an hour and a half it's pretty lengthy the camera quality is great the audio quality is great the you get multiple angles but my issue with it is kind of with the teaching like the the man doesn't really go into depth about some of the things that he's teaching so I kind I had a hard time learning how to do some of these effects because he'll say, hey, do a gambler's flat palm and then does a gambler's flat palm, but doesn't teach how to do a gambler's flat palm. And I just wish, he doesn't have to go like too much in depth, but at least teach a little bit about a gambler's flat palm for people who don't know how to do one of those. Like I knew most of the moves, but for some of them I was just like, well, I, I see you do it, but that's not really teaching me how to do it. So at some points of the tutorial video, I was just a little confused. So you might take a little bit longer if you're gonna be watching this video, just to learn how to do some of these because you might have to take a little bit of extra practice into getting these moves down. How difficult is the visualized gas system to use? Well, it depends, because if you're using some of the gaff cards in there, they take some sleight of hand that's gonna take you a little bit to get down if you don't have these moves down already. I mean, you could be practicing these moves for a couple hours if you wanna get the move down, but that's not just for this trick, because if you need to do the move in another trick or for something else, then you have that move down. But if you don't have the move down yet, like let's say the gambler's flat palm, then you need to get that, that move down and then you can move into applying it to the gas system. But but there are tricks in here that require basic sleight of hand moves that you already know how to do and some of them are just really easy that you'll be able to do as soon as you watch the tutorial video so the difficulty kind of varies you have a little bit of easy and you have a little bit of really hard stuff or not really hard stuff just stuff that's going to take more practice to get down and more time really is this examinable Kind of, part of it is, now what I mean by that is some of the effects you're gonna be doing you can hand out. Like the trick with the twisted card, you can hand that out, let them look at that, but some of the effects you're not actually gonna be able to let them hold the cards, so just be careful and make sure you have some good audience management and you know what you're doing because you don't want them to grab at your cards and then it's a gaff card and they have ruined the trick. How much setup is there when performing these effects? 
Well, there is some setup required for all of them because you gotta make sure you put the right gaff cards into the deck, but there is some setup that you have to do really just like one time. You kinda gotta get some of the cards set up and you kinda gotta do some things to a few of them. Just like be aware of that. It's not like terrible arts and crafts. It's not like you have to like start gluing a bunch of stuff or anything like that. It's really just scissors that you need. But besides that, that's just gonna take you a little bit of time to make sure everything's good to go, get them all initially set up. And then from then on, you don't have to do any more construction, even though it's, I don't even wanna call it construction because that's not what it is. Are there any negatives about Visualize? Well, I would say that the tutorial video, the quality of it is not a negative, but the actual teaching can be a negative just depending on how easy it is for you to understand something. Because like I said, for some of the moves, he doesn't really cover them as well as I would have liked him to. Another thing is that they didn't include I, for ten more dollars, I would have loved for them to include like a regular like Optrix red deck, just because that's what the back of this deck is. And if you want to perform some of these, you kind of need a full deck of them. And I'm not going to pull out my gaff deck and use that as my deck. Like that's just not what's gonna happen. So for just a few more bucks, I would have loved to see them include an actual deck that matches this back design. I also would have loved for them to include just like one of these coins like right here. This is like Mechanic Industries coins, but it's just some things like that. And then for one of them, they ask like if you wanna, you can actually use magnets for something in this, but they don't include any magnets. And it's not like it's necessary, but I just would have liked to see them include some more things like a deck with this back or some other supplies, materials for just a few more dollars. I would have really liked to have seen that. Another negative is that in the trailer, there is a scene that I am going to play right now. So it should be flashing up on the screen right now. But in that scene, they're actually showing a car that's like rising through the deck or like, and then one like flips off the top of the deck. That is not possible in person. That would be possible on camera if you're good at some video editing or like stop motion stuff. But yeah, that isn't possible. So that I kind of threw that in there as a negative because the trailer was a little misleading with that, but I did want to clarify that. That was some marketing purposes, but you could do that if you're doing your own video and you want to do some editing like that. But I mean, in person, I don't think that's possible. So just be aware of that. The last negative is that some of these tricks look best on camera, but most of them can be performed in person. You just gotta make sure that your people are in the right areas looking from the right viewpoints. Are there any positives to performing visualize? Yes, I love how visual it is. I love the, I love how there's so many different effects that are included with this. Like I said, 17 that you can do from this deck of cards. And just there's many possibilities and there's just different things that are gonna be really pleasing to the eyes in this. So those are the positives I would say. What should this retail as? Well, this currently retails as 30 US dollars and honestly, uh, I have a hard time answering this question because I really think that this deck should have retailed for like maybe $25. I know that gaff decks usually retail for a little bit more expensive prices, but I don't know, like $30 when you don't get another deck that has this back, it's just hard for me to pay. So I will say that this probably should have retailed as $35 with a Optrix red back deck. So you include two decks for $35. I think that's what I'm gonna say this should retail as. What would I give this out of 10? I would give this an eight out of 10, only because of the angles and how some of the tricks are angle sensitive and the tutorial video. I didn't really like how he didn't go too in depth in some of the moves. He didn't really teach some of them. He just kind of says them and then does them. It's just some of the things that I was picky about, but yeah, I would give this a solid eight out of 10. Should you pick this up? Yes, you should pick this up. If you like gaff decks, then you're definitely gonna like this gaff deck. I think that it has some really cool ideas and principles involved with it. I just think that if you're gonna pick it up, you also need to pick up an Optrix red deck. So definitely make sure you get a deck that has the Optrix red backed cards, okay? It's because you need a deck that's gonna go along with this and be like a regular deck and you can just insert these gaff cards into it. So I also recommend picking up one of those decks if you're gonna pick this up as well. That about does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you make a more more informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase Visualize. If you like to link me down below in the description. Also in the description is a link to my Instagram page. There you can follow me on Instagram at Tyler Lentzer Magic. And there I post tricks that I've performed that I also have reviewed. And sometimes I even give you the opportunity to ask questions about the tricks that I'm reviewing. Now I like to thank you so much for watching this video. I would also like to thank Mystique Factory for sending me this product so I can do the review for you beautiful people. Remember to use code Tyler10 at checkout so you can get 10% off your first order with Mystique Factory. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. See ya.